Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be taking a look at ThinkPoint. Uh, ThinkPoint is a fake security client. It's uh, r closely related to Peak Protection, Red Cross Antivirus, Major Defense Kit, and uh, Anti-Spy Safeguard, and actually several others. This fake security software, while looking legitimate, it's not in any way whatsoever. It will have the uh, what appears to be like a Windows logo as well as you may have a warning before this installed from Microsoft Security Essentials that looked like a real warning however it is false and um, this is a fake security client so the first thing you're going to do and I'm doing this on a Windows 7 based computer it's going to work the exact same on Windows Vista Windows XP it's going to be slightly different but this video is still going to show you exactly what to do um, if you do have questions I highly recommend you actually go to the removevirus.org website and look up the manual guide to ThinkPoint and without further ado let's go ahead and get started here so first thing I want to do is bring up the task manager and I do that by holding down control shift escape and so what that's going to do is it's going to bring up, like I said, the task manager. Is what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start the Windows Explorer, and we're going to go to File, New Task, bring that over to the side, and just simply type in Explorer.exe, and we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And as what just happened is we now have access to our desktop. Before it was uh, just that blue background. Now we actually have our desktop, so it should look a little bit more familiar at this point in time. Now I'm going to go back over to the task manager. And under the process tab, what you want to look for is something like hotfix.exe, install.exe. It's going to be a very, very generic term. And we're going to go ahead and right click on that term. And we'll show you another way how to find this too in a second and we're simply going to go to open file location now once in that file location swing down over here and we're actually going to see the exact path here so it's going to be c colon backslash users the username app data and then roaming and that's the path that you actually would have to browse down to and if we notice right here we're going to have hotfix.exe. If I right click on that, there's one of two ways to do this. You can simply rename it and then name it whatever you want and then reboot your computer and upon reboot you'll be able to delete it right away or you can do that in safe mode. The other way and the way I really would recommend you do it is just go ahead here and in the task manager just highlight the hotfix.exe or install.exe whatever it is on yours and process and now that that process has been terminated we can go ahead and delete this file without any problems and you'll notice that yay the uh, hotfix background went away we don't have that anymore so we, we've actually killed off the main executable now another way to get to this if you're just browsing into safe mode is to go to first the control panel and we're just going to do a search here for hidden and it'll say show hidden files and folders now in this dialog box is what we're going to want to do is by default this will usually be checked we want to go ahead and select this show hidden files and folders and drives and then we also want to uncheck the hide protected operating system files now normally that will be checked we're going to hit yes just go ahead and hit apply and then ok now so what that's allowing us to do is now we can actually go to our computer C drive users like I said if you have XP it's going to be a different file path but we're going to have it on our guide anyways so just go to removevirus.org for that now I'm going to go under my username now when I'm under my username I'm going to go into the app data folder now you'll see right here how this uh, folder icon is very very light that's because it's a hidden folder then it was under rowing and the file was in here so that's going to be the actual full path for you but in order to see the app data folder uh, you're going to have to unhide um, hidden files and folders now once this is done you're going to want to run a full security scan on your computer to ensure that you got all the file traces needed most likely there's a registry uh, trace or two that should be deleted 
Uh, however, we haven't found anything too, too horrible uh, for most people. However, you may have some other Trojan viruses. We ourselves, we use a Spire Doctor with antivirus. You can download it directly from the uh, removevirus.org website. We highly recommend the client um, at least run a full scan with it. That way you know what you're dealing with and if there was anything left. If you found this uh, software too hard to remove yourself, something you can do is actually boot into safe mode with networking uh, and to learn how to do that you can go to the removevirus.org website under our how-to guides to teach you and it shows you how to boot into safe mode with networking and you can go online and uh, we recommend onlinecomputerrepair.org that's going to be www.onlinecomputerrepair.org uh, they charge $89.99 at the time of this video to remove all viruses and spyware. We've been recommending them out for a few years now. They always have done a, a pretty bang up job for people. And other than that, we the uh, security client we recommend is Spire Doctor with antivirus. Uh, the next security client we recommend is going to be a Malware Bytes. Uh, we really like them too as well. So just give a quick shout out to them. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free and ask over at the removevirus.org website. Take care.